everyone, this is Maris and back again with another science experiment for you and your kids to do. So this one is kind of a science art experiment. What you're going to need is, again, a lot of things that you probably already have in your pantry. So I use today corn syrup, baby oil, and water. But you can use any liquid that you have in your house. You can use vegetable oil, you can use vinegar, you can use honey, you could use really anything. Even shaving cream if you wanted to add that in for a little bit of fun. You could add whatever you and your kids want to. I just kept it simple with these three for today. This experiment is all about how oil and water don't typically mix. So what you need is, once you have all of your liquids, you can add some food coloring to them. You can add some to any of the looser liquids, right? So I tried to put some in this baby oil and you can see it doesn't mix with the baby oil. But that's a really good thing for you and your kids to talk about as well. So I made a little bit of blue water, a little bit of this baby oil here, and I've got my corn syrup here. So all you need then is a plate. I have a paper plate, a compostable paper plate. You can use any plate that you have at home, uh, you know, even the place you eat off dinner, because this is all things that should be very easily washed off. So any plate you have is perfect. And all you're gonna do is let your kids put these things on the plate and try and mix them around, right? So you can, if you have any of these pipettes, you can use these. If you don't have these, I would say go ahead, use a spoon, use a measuring spoon. You could practice measuring a little bit. You can use really whatever you have at home. Now, what was really cool about adding a little bit of food coloring into the baby oil is that it beads up, right? So you can see it doesn't mix with all of it. But then once you pour it onto the tray, you can see it kind of explodes a little bit. So then watch, you can mix this around. It makes kind of like little trails. If you add a little bit of the corn syrup, your kids are going to kind of make a nice goopy mess so you can see how it doesn't all mix together. But the corn syrup is a really good way to move some of the color around. So really this experiment is mostly about letting your kids lead, letting them mix whatever they want to on the plate. It's really easy cleanup if you're using a non-disposable plate, just rinse it under the sink, give it back to them clean, and let them start all over again. You know, you can mix lots of different colors together. So again, you're talking a little bit about color theory and what happens when we mix colors together. But you're also talking a little bit about what mixes together and what doesn't. And you can check the link in the description to learn a little bit more about the science behind why some of these things don't mix and also some adaptations for kids of all ages. So I hope you can take this experiment and have a lot of fun with it. I really love it. It's a great sticky, fun experience for everyone. So don't be afraid to let your kids get their hands in there too. It's pretty easy to wash them off at the end. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel, feel free to leave a comment and we'll get back to you. And until next time, stay curious.